I just wanted to briefly show you how you could convert your low fidelity wireframe into a high fidelity wireframe using Figma. Here is the low fidelity wireframe that we had created in an earlier exercise together. As you can see, I'm just using lines for text and placeholder images, but I have no real content on the screen. What we want to do is we want to convert this low fidelity wireframe into a high fidelity wireframe. I'm not going to do the entire thing with you because the process is fairly repetitive, but I will show you how we can get up and running. I'm going to select the frame for the mobile and I'll hold down my alt or option key to drag out a copy. So this makes an exact copy. And then what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and grab some imagery that I want to use. The images can be bitmap images or they can be vector images. Figma is capable of handling both types of images. There are several ways to get images into Figma. It is possible to simply copy and paste images into Figma. I have a vector artwork of a logo that I've created in Illustrator and I've simply copied the logo from Illustrator and now pasted it inside of Figma. So I can bring this into Figma that easily. What I will do is I'm going to use my Z tool to zoom in and I'm going to take my logo, place it up here. I will scale it down a little bit and I'm just going to grab this image placeholder and delete it. And on the actual website, I'm not going to have a background color, so I'm just going to get rid of this and this will become my header. I'll have my hamburger menu which will expand out and show the links and then I have my logo. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to simply move on to the next area of my website. Now the first thing I'll want to do is add some text. So I'm going to click, hold and drag with my text tool to drag out a text box. I have copied the text from another application and pasted it in to Figma. You can select the text and if you come to your property inspector, you can change the font, you can change the font style, the font size, and if you want to change the color, the color can be changed down here. I will leave the color at white and I'm simply going to just resize my text box. I don't need this to be quite so big and I do want it to be medium and italic. I'm going to select this placeholder text and delete it and then I will just drag this onto the screen. I'm going to change the color of the headline, so I'll change this to white. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace this background with an image. So I need to bring the image into Figma. Now, as I mentioned, there are several ways to get imagery into Figma. It is possible to import images into Figma by using the Figma menu and going to File, Images. This will allow you to navigate to a location on your computer and find an image and simply select it and open it into Figma. Now we can place the image using this method. So because I know the size that I want this to be, I'm simply going to click, hold and drag and drag out a selection box so that I can place the image. If you want to keep the proportions of the image, you'll hold down the shift key. If you do not hold down the shift key, then the image will just show up in the partial area. Once I have this selected, I can move this image into place. Now I need to send the image behind the other elements. If you go to your menu item and go to object, you can say send to back, send backwards, bring forward or bring to front. And there are keyboard shortcuts associated with these. I'm going to click send to back and it is currently behind these other elements. I no longer need this particular rectangle, although I am going to change this to a black color and I'm going to reduce the opacity down to about 40%. This will allow me to see the image behind the rectangle, but it will add a little bit more contrast so that my text will show up and be a little bit easier to read. And as you can see, you can just go about building the web page in this manner. You can either paste text in to Figma or you could just type the text yourself. Once you have the text here, you'll be able to highlight the text, choose the font, the font styles, the text colors, 
and any other parameter that you want to augment in regards to the text. I'm going to go ahead and place this text here. This is going to be my special text. I'll delete the placeholder and then I'm going to go ahead and replace this image with an actual image. So once again, what I will do is I will use the pull down menu. I'm going to go to file images. I will navigate to the image that I want and then I'm going to select this and I will place the image into the document. So I'm just going to click hold and drag. I'll hold down my shift key to constrain the proportions. I'm going to let go and I'll move this off the screen, get rid of my placeholder and I'm going to select the frame from Figma. I'm going to turn on the grids so that I can use the grids to align the elements correctly. And I think I will just make the text a little bit more narrow and I'll just make my image slightly wider. And you would just go about this in the exact same manner, replacing the elements that you need to with the real content. As you build this out, you may find yourself wanting to augment some of the layout, which is fine. You're just using your wireframe as a guide so that you can begin to populate these different areas with the actual images. Let me go ahead and show you what my finalized version looks like. Here I have the finalized version of both my mobile and my desktop view. And you can see that I'm using real text, real images. I've used some background colors and I'm making this look a lot more like the actual website will. If we scroll over here and take a look at the desktop version, you can see that I'm using the exact same imagery and content. I've just reorganized it and in some cases resized it so that it's optimized for web use. If you take some time and organize your wireframes and build them out, it will be much quicker for you to actually build out the high fidelity wireframes. And these really should look very close to what your actual finalized website is going to look like. Taking time to prepare this is going to give you a leg up when it comes to coding the website because you're not going to be stumbling around trying to figure out what sizes things should be, what colors things should be, what fonts they should be. You've already worked that out in the wireframing process. So when it comes time to build the website, you can focus on actually creating the code and building the website out so that it's optimal for web use.